Michael, you weren't even in yesterday's vlog. You got home so late. Uh, 11.30? Yeah. Look who's out! I told my mom to watch your vlogs to see how pitiful Ricky was. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Mitchell. Goodbye, Beef. It's that, it's that love stare. Just stare into each other's eyes. Mm -hmm. And then the camera's eyes. And then say goodbye. for trying to have nice hair. So what's happening today? My friend Kelly from London is in town. I'm gonna go see her. We're gonna have food down in the marina, which is a long drive now. After that, we're just gonna hang out. Well, come here, come here. Yeah. Good bird. Ooh. So I figure we're just gonna pal around LA. I'll show her some of my favorite places to go. I have to figure out what those places are before I go do that. It's 10 a.m. now. I'm gonna be doing that around like 1, 2 p.m. So until then, I have work to do. And work I shall. This is not something I'm used to. Yesterday, during improv practice with my friends, we were talking and joking about the words panties in the milk chute, and I'm about to explain what that's in reference to, because it's in reference to this apartment. This apartment was built in the 40s, I believe, and in the 40s, milkmen used to come and take your milk in the mornings and then leave you milk in the mornings in something called a milk chute. At least that's what I'm calling it. So we have one of those. Unfortunately, it is not milk that is currently in this milk chute. When Mike and I moved in here, we were exploring the apartment, we opened up the milk chute, and there are a stranger's panties in our milk chute. Here's the milk chute, and if I open the milk chute, do you see that little lump of something? Look at me getting all Jessica Jones on this shot. Those are panties. Those are someone's panties. They're not my panties. These are mystery panties. My friend Kelly, who I haven't seen in years at one of my favorite places to eat, The Triple. If you ever come to Los Angeles and you want some place to get like a good beer and a great meal, it's a little bit pricey, go to The Triple, T-R-I-P-E-L, and they have bourbon milk and cookies, dude. the last bookstore on earth. bookstore on earth which happens to be my favorite spot to bring anyone who's visiting Los Angeles high high likelihood that if you stay with me I'm going to take you here and let you just roam around because hot damn look at all the things also have you seen this this was on tumblr it's a tunnel I mean being on tumblr isn't a really great standard of coolness I'm on tumblr and you know me <laughs> Kelly what do you have to say about the making of the happy hooker the making of a happy hooker is free health insurance and a good standard of living. So it's the inside story of how... Oh, I have no idea what it's actually about. Hi, I'm Mike. Hey, Kelly. Nice to meet you, Kelly. Do you need help? Yeah. I've got the muscles. <laughs> We're reunited! Hello! Did you miss him in the last video where he wasn't there because we got so late? So I missed me. I was like, wait, where am I? <laughs> Not I was, in my life. I was good. <laughs> we're about to get into the car to drive up to Big Bear because we're going to spend the next two days, three days, two days in Big Bear with a bunch of friends. But it's going to be just a car ride. And I don't want to take you along for a car ride if it's going to be lame and dark and boring. So we're signing off for today. Tomorrow we're going to wake up in the mountains in a castle house. So look forward to that. Uh, you guys are grand. I love every one of your faces. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Happy Vlogmas. Can we talk about how annoying it is 
that the sun goes down at 4.30 now. <laughs> the guy next to me can see me vlogging and he's looking at me like, what the